hello everybody welcome back welcome bickety back i kind of like glory bringer here out of all the cards in this pack or we can take kozilek and finally try to through the breach slash sneak attack if we take glory bringer i bet sulfuric vortex wheels i'm gonna take glory bringer and assume that's gonna happen i like pyroblast a lot Morag is good, a little expensive. Ancient Tomb could be good. Skewer the Critics is good. Uh, I think Vortex has a significantly higher chance of tabling than Glorybringer. So, I would take Glorybringer first. I do like Ancient Tomb, but... I'm going to take Skewer. Mm. No, we're taking Ancient Tomb. Skewer might come back too, so... Ooh, Earthshaker Kenra. Deal. We are going to try to Mono Red here. I think it's pretty obvious. Hopefully you guys have noticed. But we're going to take Splinter Twin here because it's either that or Mana Flare, and Splinter Twin leaves us open to the possibility of not being Mono Red and playing Pester Mite and Deceiver Exorc. Uh, any of those two dudes that I mentioned? Pestermite? Pestermite? Deceiver X Orc? No? Nothing? Okay, we'll just take Young Peasy. Presumably that guy's gonna make us some gentlemen. We take Soul Scar Mage. It's probably better than Opposition. I mean, it's not a better card than Opposition, but in this archetype, it's probably better than Opposition. Firebolt is probably better than Banefire for what we're trying to do. Put Tomb in the zero CMC. It is. It's in the. It's in the sideboard. That's my zero CMC pile. Gotti. Um, I think we're just taking Riftwing Cloudscape. If we have to be blue-red, like, tempo, I think that's fine. And Sulfuric Vortex did come back, just as, just as your papa predicted. Remember that time we met in a train station somewhere in Florida? I do. I do remember that. It was romantic. And Elk Tears was there. And Katie was there. And Michael B. was there. And Skewer the Critics came back. Okay, so... We got it all. Father likes the vortex. Kiln Fiend, I don't care about you at all, but I'll take you. And sure. Mike B is real big. Yeah, the B stands for big. Duh. Uh, I think in, I think it's about champion here. The Mike stands for Micathan. <laughs> That's true. It's Micathan Big. That's his name. That's what Michael B's for. Oh, there's Pester Mite, boys. We're halfway there. I mean, that's got to be better than Legion War Boss, right? Or Fire Diamond. I mean, this lets us combo now. Go, 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 combo! Oh, living on a square. Mox Diamond. 
your power, I swear. I'll take Mox Diamond. I think Mox Diamond's fine. See, I'm gonna keep this in the in the zero CMC pile because it, it counts towards my it doesn't count toward my lands. Like I wanna note there's twenty three cards down here. None of them are counting towards my lands. So I, I, I keep the the Mox Diamond in here. You can easily look over here and see that Ancient Tomb is here. So you kind of know that that's, that's one of the lands I've picked up. Do you think they ever print a cycle of Dryad Arbor lands? No. There's just no... There's A, there's no need for it. And because it's a 1-1, one, one, it doesn't have any abilities. It's not a 1-1 one, one Forest Walker. It's not a 1-1 one, one with Trample. It's not a 1-1. One, one. So, like, the other ones can't have abilities either. So they're all just going to be 1-1s. One, one. And I think Dryad Arbor um, historically has been found to be powerful enough that it's not advisable to print four other Dryad Arbors. So, no, I, I do not uh, see Dryad Arbor ever, ever making a reappearance as a card. They could come into play tapped. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, that's basically the same, though. Like, you can't tap a Dryad Arbor the, 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 the turn it comes into play anyway because it's a creature. So it has summoning sickness. So it's not like, it's not like that's the... Hmm. I think it's control magic. Oh, Lightning Bolt, Gilded Drake, Niv-Mizzet. Oh, baby. I mean, I think it's Gilded Drake. Like, we've seen the power of Gilded Drake. You can block with it. Well... Yeah, okay, so blocking with the Dryad Arbor was never was never the reason. Like, the reason is you can play Green Sun Zenith on turn one to go get your Dryad Arbor. Like, it's a very strong card. This is, this is really sad. There's a Primeval Titan still in this pack. I'm going to take Blightsteel on the off chance. Like, we get Tinker and a couple artifacts for it, so. Plus, the rest of that entire pack was pretty much green, so. Um, hmm. Yeah, we might just have to take the Drake because there's got to be Gargaross hanging around. What if it had a come into play trigger when you had to bounce a land? Well, then like then like no one would play it. Like that's just not because not only are you losing a land, but then you can like easily shock this land, and then it turns all your removal in hand into like two two stone rains, which is absolutely terrible. Like I think Dryad's on the like Dryad's a weird card because by itself it's not super powerful, but like. It has a lot of powerful synergies with other cards. Urza. I think Urza's probably better than P and Karen Alar here. But it is putting us very, very square. Like, like, we've picked up a lot of... The thing is, we couldn't have drafted Mono Red here because we just aren't hitting the cards. Bowman Courier is fine, but... Oh, see, Hellrider's good. Let's take let's take Steamkin actually. Hey, Dryad Arbor again. Hey, you coming back, huh? I'll take a tormenting voice. Not thrilled about it, but I'll take it. None of these cards. I'm gonna take Great Henge. There's so many cards that I wish I saw when we were playing green. Like the one time we're not playing green is like when we see Great Henge, Primeval Titan. Cards like I literally haven't seen any time I've drafted this cube. Seventeen cards, literally no, no fixing lands yet. Okay, there's an Emrakul. We're definitely taking Emrakul. Like, again, if we hit through the Breach or the other one. Also, this might be a format where Show and Tell is actually playable. We're also used to it being a trap from the Vintage Cube. 
But like, there's no white or black cards, which are most of the cards that get rid of. Let's take Emrakul and see what happens. This, this is nothing. There's nothing for us here. <laughs> like upheaval's fine. It's like we're not we're not playing an upheaval deck at all. Trick bind is cute, I guess. I don't know. We're not weldering. Raging ravine does nothing. Like this pack is actually terrible for us. Thing in the ice. All right, I'll thing in the ice. Hmm. I think it's actually frontier bivouac here. Oh my god, Kurt with the trick bind. That's hilarious. You're off my Christmas card list. Dang it. I think I just want bivouac here. I have no other lands. A ponder is amazing, but... Well, we have a combo. We have Splinter from Pestering, but it's not the like it's not that we we don't have Kiki or Deceiver X or Zealous Conscripts. I think it might just be Chandra here. Time Warp's cool, Iron Mirror's cool, but Chandra seems like the strongest card. Deceiver X Arc. Okay, we spoke too soon. Now we got the other dude. Probably moving Sulfuric Vortex and the Soul Scar Mage out. I think we might want Tormenting Voice. I think Tormenting Voice is fine. I obviously like the other one better that lets us uh, cast it at instant speed. Oh, Sulfur, Sulfur Falls is nice. So is Force of Will, though. Force of Will actually protects our combo. Yeah, we gotta take Force of Will here. We have enough blue cards to really kind of use it, so... Um, Ash Zealot could just be fine. It's like an Abbot of Carol Keep. I'll take Abbot. Trickbind reflects me as a person. I stop you from doing what you want to do, and I am the final word. I don't know if any of those things are true. I don't think you stop people from doing things, nor do I think you are pushy enough to have the final word. Um, okay, well. Is it just gutter snipe? We have firebolt. Two, three. Like our a lot of our, our deck doesn't oh well let's get let's get the Imperial Recruiter. That guy's fine. This is funny because like young Pyromancer is not good in our deck, Emrakul's not good in our deck. Thing in the Ice is not good in our deck. Like like we just have a bunch of cards that are not great. I think Duretti's actually fine. What does this guy do? So 2-2 two, two for 2, sacrifice a deal damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker. Eh. Duretti's probably where you want to be. Pyretic Ritual any good here? Probably not. Searing Blaze could be fine. Makes me feel better about the Young PZ. Faithless Looting is probably pretty decent for us, actually. Those are both pretty good. We can get Emrakul out of here. Take a Skull Crack, but I'm not loving it. This deck is... something. Is it worth just being mono red? 
Let's see what the mono red version looks like. I mean, we get to keep Vortex. We would get Skullcrack, Soulscar, Fire Drinker. This is only 20 cards, and we just literally don't have enough cards. Because we'd also have to take out Splinter Twin. Yeah, no, this is not. Take out Soulscar, take out Fire Drinker. Have it. I don't care about Earthshaker, Kenrot, or Skullcrack here. Yeah, this just seems much better. Oh, Vortex can go. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, everything else seems good. Force of Will seems bad here. Disagree. Hard disagree. Like, we're trying to protect our combo. We have Splinter and Pestermite, like... Uh, 10 7. Let's go 9 8. I think we have, I think 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. I think 8 blue cards is, 7 blue cards is more than, more than fine. I think this might be one of our worst decks, but we might be able to steal some wins with, like, Splinter Twin. <laughs> so we'll see. Alan, have a good night, buddy. Oh, what up, Brett? When did Brett sneak in here? Oh, did our, just, did our matchmaking fail? Uh, yep, snap keep this. Ooh, that smell! How long does it take for drafting good cards and not drafting bad ones? It's not good. This is not, this is not the time, Brett. It's not the time. Whiskey bottles, brand new cars. Oak tree, you're in my way. Yep, sure. But is it though? I see. I see what you've done. Oh, 
Oh boy. Are you coming down now? Okay, good. So we get a freebie here. That's nice. Oh, wow. That's what father likes. We got the boys coming down here, boy. It's like how I said boys twice in that sentence, but I said them in two different ways. Oh, wow. Wow. Let's see if they combo off. Well, seven lands is a lot, but what can you do? Okay. Here we go. This is where we die. This is, these are things that are happening. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Here comes the old time spiral. Mind's desire. Oh god, I'm impressed. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ponder. Alright. Probe. Wow, you just hit the jackpot, my dude. Boy, that's wild. Lion's Eye Diamond? Oh my god. What are they gaining here? They're at 25, so this one's going to be, what, 6? 31? So, yeah, that's going to be game. That's insane. Blue must be dicey, blue bitch. Stupid bitch, zip, zip, dump, dude. All right, let's take Control Magic out. Let's take Searing Blaze out. Let's bring in Vortex. Let's bring in Skullcrack. Take out Drake, bring in Earthshaker Kenra. Actually, your sugar counter is just worse than Fire Drinker Seder here, right? Thank you. Yeah, all right, that seems fine. Oh, what up, Hardest of Core? Thanks for the resub, my dude. My nerd. Also, two babies. <laughs> Oh, congratulations on our 18-month sub, baby. God, they grow up so fast. <laughs> Just realized I'm playing. Big fan. Well, that explains round one, doesn't it? Well, we want to hit lands here, so we're probably just going to discard, uh, probably going to discard Urza. Because I want to hit a land for next turn. I'd really like that. And Sulfuric Vortex actually seems pretty good. And they can't gain life, so they're, hey, their Flux Reservoir seems like trash. You got it. Whiskey bottles and brand new cars. Mike B, you're in my way. Hmm. 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 
this guy. Okay. Boom, ba -da -ba -doom -doom. Whiskey bottle, maga bees. Splinter Twin on the fire drinker as a flex. <laughs> oh yeah, that's where you want to be. Okay. Give me a land so I can bounce that thing. Cool story, bro. Don't you hate it when you spend your turn using a pyretic ritual to cast your Thousand Year Storm and then someone just bounces it? I mean, they're dead on board, so if they want to spend their turn playing Thousand Year Storm, then they die. That was a very quick thousand years. <laughs> Imagine being a weatherman during the thousand years, and you're like, well, the same as yesterday, man. Nothing's really changed. It's still it's still going. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll see. See if anything's different. Well, it's storm day. Again. God, things are happening. Oh, boy. Everything's happening right now. This is going to be a hell of a mind's desire, I think. But they have no choice, because they're dead. Is it called Thousand Year Storm because their opponents have been waiting a thousand years to untap with it? Yeah. Nailed it. Oh man, they're totally minds desiring here. <sighs> yep, last six mana. Minds desire for six. We tried. We tried our best. Oh. Well, that doesn't strike me as a minds desire for six at all. Okay. Okay. Gotti. <laughs> there you go. There you go. No, Fluster Storms does seem good. I, I agree with that. I kind of think Imperial Recruiter can come out. Like, it's whatever. I'll keep this hand. It is extremely slow. But if we draw Pester Miter Splinter Twin, or no, uh, Pester Miter Deceiver XR, we could also just hit a Faithless Looting here and then, like, just figure out what's going to happen. All right, let's top deck one of those two, two Mamma Jammas. We did not. Don't miscalculate, I asked you nicely. Well, we, they have multiple counter spells. We can't really just play around everything, so. All 
Whiskey bottles. Brand new cars. Oak tree, you're in my way. No. No. <coughs> yeah, I'll put that guy on top. That's fine. So next turn we can actually play Glory, Thundermaw, Hellkite, and keep up Flusterstorm, which is nice. Thunder Musels. Somebody was racing down the street. Bing, bing. And I was like, whoa, buddy. Thank you. Take it easy. Oh, Robtimus Prime. Oh, Jiggity Jaws with the five gifted subs, Thank man. You. Thank you. Really appreciate it. We can always put Splinter Twin on the Thunder Moth to, Thank you. you know, send a message. I feel like as long as we can dodge Mind Thank Desire, you. I think Flusterstorm is going to really do a good job here. Thank you. You got it. Jiggity Jaws doing the Lord's work. Unbelievable. Such gratefulness. Really appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Whenever a player casts an instant or source, that player copies it and may choose new copies. I get to copy my own Flusterstorm? You got it. Oh, boy. Okay. Boy, things are really happening right now. So they have three mana. What are they? Wait, they only have, like, Mana Morphos and Serum Visions in here? Hmm. Interesting. Well. <sighs> so they copy that. But they only have... Oh, that's pretty good, actually. They get five... Six mana total. But they only have two cards. Oh, bonus round on top. Um, They have no cards in hand. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to fluster storm these. Uh, fluster storm you for a blue. <laughs> target, 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 target. Target, target. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I know. Yeah, that's what I said. I said that I can copy my own fluster storm. You know, I mean, you're not casting it; you're just copying it, so you only get one extra copy. But I mean, they have two mana now, so they can, like, Serum Visions twice, which is fine, but, like, they also have to exile three more cards. I don't, I don't know. This could be fine. Do you have to pay the mana? Oh, okay, they did. They paid... I don't know what's going on right now. This was very confusing. But they have nothing in their graveyard, so... Sure. Yeah, we're just have six things. I have no responses. I'm not going to sit here and hit OK 20 times. So we just have to... I mean, like, they have three cards, so... Let's see if they whiff or if they hit Mind's Desire for 40. And then we just wasted our Fluster Storm like an idiot. Yep, that's pretty good. Okie dokie. <sighs> this is really frustrating. <laughs> sure. Yep. I, mean, I feel like right now they're just upping the storm count, so. And I sit and watch you do your stormy thing. Cool. Yeah, I'm just done. Good times. Beer, <laughs> Will they deck themselves? I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's nothing. There's nothing making them draw a card is the problem. So they would. I mean, they would go to zero. But like, I guess they could cast Reservoir. Put Frantic Search on the stack. I don't know, man. It's really weird. I mean, we might have just wanted to play it out to, like, see what happens, but.
Actually, John had eight last night. So tonight he's actually getting higher. Like yesterday he was down way farther. So he's actually catching up, not falling behind this at this point. Yeah, you know what? Sure. We're going to lead on Mountain Mountain in case we hit Ancient Tomb. Like that. Don't like that. <coughs> what I have this tool song stuck in my head who knows boy oh boy oh He got real excited. I'm just going to let them do whatever they want here. Our goal is to make them tap out. Or to help them tap out. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, oh, no. Oh, wow. That's really sad. Oh! <gasps> less sad tap this guy down he's like am I dead yeah buddy you're dead <laughs> gotty <laughs> oh man a classic a uh, classic Man, they had the onboard, the onboard preventative measure on, on board, I guess. Okay, you know what? I'm good. I kind of like turn to Abbott off of a mox to see if we hit a land. Not a land. But not also not a card we wanted to draw, so... Are you singing the baseline for Prison Cell? Yes, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Four mana. Four mana. Four mana. Four mana. Three. Okay. Just checking. Wanted to make sure that that was correct. I mean, if we draw one more land, I think we're in very good shape, but. Yeah, all right. Well, that is a gentleman. Oh, this guy's a goblin, huh? Boy, Grumgully's a real problem. That guy's a real pain in the ass. Yeah. 
lands. Literal no lands. Another four drop. Phenomenal. Get rid of four drop. And... Four drop, I guess. Elemental is red. Oh yeah, it's definitely a fantastic tool album, for sure. Um, yeah. Pretty sure we have to double block this guy and just hope they don't have some kind of answer. <laughs> Any way to kill a 1-1? One -one? <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I think not hitting a third or fourth land here has been... Yeah, this is not going to go well. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to the next game. We're gonna. Yeah, that's not gonna. It's not gonna do it either. Well, that was a that was a game. That was a heck of a game. Seventeen lands and a mox diamond should be fine. But you know, I gotta go do a five hour drive. So good luck. Stay safe. Stay alert, my dude. Don't do anything crazy. Don't drive reckless. Don't drive sleepy. Uh, I think this is a keeper. <coughs> we have two lands. We have lots of ways to find lands. Like Faithless Looting, for example. And now we have this guy and this guy. So... I think we're getting rid of Abbott. And surprisingly, Chandra. Hmm. I, do we just discard force? I think we discard force here. That's a uh, bingo. Also, the four toughness is extremely relevant right now, so... Just gonna take it. So this should be the game, right? Because they don't have two mana and they don't have there's not a four damage spell that would kill this guy. Oh god, they're gonna hate me. Tap a permanent, I'll tap this thing. Oh, they could have Fire Blast. Yeah, that's true. I feel like that's not great for them, though. Let's see. Oh, they don't have Fire Blast. They had their finger over the concede right there, my dudes. That's hilarious. Boop, 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 boop. 
I have no idea why the song is so prominently stuck in my head right now. But it is. Yeah, that, that concede was for sure ready to go. Um, I think this is fine. Like, Abbott helps us find a third land. Didn't need to find one anyway. Dude, look how much worse these are. Like, and these were great in the day. Remember, look how much worse these are than the Triumphs. Not only can they not be searched for, but they can't... Like, they're just... It's so funny, like, comparing the two. Oh, yeah, let's Steamkin. Let's play a little Steamy Boy. <laughs> what an awkward thing to say. I knew it was I knew it was gonna be a land that I couldn't cast skewer the critics with. <clears throat> I think that's still fine. I think I still want to keep the land. I was really hoping to skewer this guy. <laughs> oh boy. Yep, that's pretty good. I'm probably going to steal this. That seems good, right? Or you just kill it. <laughs> Fascinating. We could actually kill this, skewer this. No, that's the same thing. Um, I think we want to get rid of the Edric. No, you cannot play Guild and Edric and not exchange. You have to exchange. <clears throat> I'm going to go get a, <clears throat> wow, our whole, our, it's funny because our whole deck can be gotten with Imperial Recruiter, including Champion, Runaway, Steamkin, and Abbott. Um, like, we basically have, like, three creatures that can't, we, we can't get, like, Glorybringer, uh, Thundermon, Gilded Drake. Despite, like, I don't think we're going to, I think, I think Riftwing is actually just better here. Maybe not. Let's get Deceiver Exarch. I mean, like, it's 50% of the combo, right? Like, if we draw Splinter Twin, like, we just win. Plus, like, 
it still taps down Smuggler's Copter for a turn. Thank you. <clears throat> yep, that's unfortunate. Still doesn't really change our plan, though. Oh, what up, Big Lou? You piece of shit. <laughs> Boy. <clears throat> Talk about having it all. Why would you kill this over this? That's weird. This guy does nothing on the board. My favorite stupid piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, it's a Big Lou meme. It's okay. We have a good time. Big Lou's nothing but love. We are at nine, huh? Okay. Oh, all right. All right. Okay. Why he doesn't have reach, I don't know, but we're not attacking with anyone here. <clears throat> Reclamation Sage. Fucking Man of War. Oh my god, dude. Exhausting. Emotionally exhausting. Oh, good. We're in attacks. We did not activate Smuggler's Copter. Seems good. You got it. So we now have Kogel and two other cards. Ooh, interesting. I think we're just playing Thundermaw and keeping it back and then countering the Kogla. That seems good. You know what I hate? When a giant card doesn't have reach, like Beanstalk Giant. How does that not have reach? Buddy, let's talk about Eldrazi's not having reach, okay? Okay. I'm going to pitch Gilded Drake here. I think Champion of Wits is stronger, especially when we have Deceiver Exarch and we're trying to be uh, drawn of cards. Splinter? Hmm. Ho! Oh. Ho! Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's, let's get some killing. Here I go killing again. I guess we're just going to tap a land down. <clears throat> tap target permanent. I'll tap this stupid land. I don't think they have anything, I'm going to be honest. Nope, they got something. <laughs> Okie dokie. Never fails. When does it fail? Never. Um, discard Firebolt and Champion here. Ah, oh, boy. <clears throat> what can you do? Yep. Hmm. 
God, how good would a friggin' anger of the gods be here? <clears throat> well, that's not bad. And that's the game. Cool. Solid top decks. Both sides played hard. I think our deck is good. Just, you know. I'm going to tormenting voice here because we don't have more things to do. Yeah, I didn't want to draw those two anyway, so that's pretty good. Like, we have no action on turn three, and we kind of want to hit something. <clears throat> Nature's Lord, my tropical island. And I'll play another thing. I'm going to kill that bird on the spot. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Wow, that's annoying. Literally wanted to play Bivouac there. Because, you know, it's obviously nothing else to do this turn. But then, the land moved because the Firebolt left my hand. Seems good. Did they not activate Nyssa? Uh, Alright. <clears throat> Weird decision, but alright. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> I don't understand... Why did you not activate your Nissa? They missed the land drop. No, they didn't. Just kidding. One, two, three, four, five. Um, attack Nissa, attack your face. This guy is not big enough to crew, <clears throat> so that's good. Okay, that feels great. They don't have Kogla mana yet. They do have Treachery mana. So that's worth noting. Um, I definitely think we're going to swap here and then draw a card. Ooh, that seems good. I like that a lot. <clears throat> One second. <clears throat> mm, 
yeah, no blocks. Oh man, what happens if you what happens if you twin a gilded drake? The new one comes into play. Wait, that sounds insane, right? Um Actually I can have this. I chose poorly. <clears throat> I mean, I'm definitely not going to risk it. I'd rather I'd rather not risk the potential 2-1 here. Because I still want to keep control magic in case we get like uh Kogla or something, you know? <clears throat> God, they love bouncing their own creature, don't they? It's really... Man, the smuggler's copter's really been a pain in the ass. <clears throat> oh, they got a Euro in the graveyard. Euro's great with smuggler's copter. Jeez. That's pretty good. They can't furl Mystic here, which is nice. So if they play something fat, we have control magic. Mm, that's pretty good. So they go to 10. Glorybringer does untap, though. If they bring out Euro, we're definitely going to steal it. Huh. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So we can actually control magic their Tatiova. And Riftwing Cloud Skate something else. Or you could just kill it, I guess. <clears throat> also, Splinter Twin on Riftwing Cloud Skate seems pretty sweet. Bounce that. Killing this, they go block here, block here. I think this is... I don't think I care about the stupid runaway steam kin, to be honest. Can they block it? They can only block here. Which is fine. They're not going to have enough power to get rid of this guy, so that's good. <clears throat> I 
<laughs> I like Frank Lepore. Okay. Me too. Me too. Runaway train never coming back. They could always block here. Block here. It seems fine too. This plant's also just just surviving. He's just a survivor. Okay, <clears throat> that's annoying. Okay, so they're not gonna cast Euro. I wonder if they forgot about Euro. Hmm. Let's just go to combat, see what they do. <clears throat> Probably top, tap down a squad. Yep. Oh, what up, Sammy? Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. Everybody has been sufficiently one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Um, hmm, I should have actually activated this first to see what we hit and then see if we want to use this. <laughs> Putting them at a three seems relevant. So, one, two. <clears throat> three, four, five. Okay. I want to give them one less creature, and I also want to be able to... Oh, good. They're going to counter this. Okie dokie. Well, that was less than ideal. Wow, this is really <laughs> this is really turning around here, huh? Opposition really changes the game. Have we done my what was Sammy? We did your step while you were here. Oh, what? Wait, which? Wait. The the dinner one. <laughs> Yep, all right. <clears throat> it's really sad that I didn't get to control magic something because of negate. Yep, pretty sure we're dead here. I'm not sure there's anything we can do about this because if if we go to Splinter Twin, we have to actually draw Deceiver Exarch and then we have to play Splinter Twin on it and they can just tap it in response. So that means it's going to take like multiple turns. Uh huh. Yep. Uh huh. Pretty sure this is going to be a good old-fashioned... <clears throat> yep, fantastic. Nothing in the graveyard. I'm pretty sure we're just dead now. I'm pretty sure we lost last game too, right? So, 
I actually have no idea what game this is. I think it's game three. But, um... So if they block this guy, it's three power. And then they take three, four. So that's sad. And then we're just dead to like whatever they have. Oh, Jabra with a raid, buddy. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, my dude. <sighs> yep, just a sad splinter twin. They block here for four. They take one, two, three, four. Yep. <clears throat> That'll do, pig. One, two, unfortunately. This deck did not seem great. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate the support. Head on over to twitch.tv slash Franklin Make sure you follow or subscribe. They are great ways to support the content that you are watching for free right now. So be sure to do that. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.